and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia Nari. If you are new here, then uh, welcome. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you stay and you subscribe. But on here, what we talk about is various fragrances that are in my collections, layering or anything that you have recommended for us to discuss. Today's topic is going to be about, I am going to pick a fragrance depending on the genre of the fragrance and what I think you should get if you want to find a fragrance for the summer. So if that sounds interesting, then we're going to get deep into it. But before, let me tell you how you can find me. If you've never heard of me, right? This is the first time you've ever seen me. You can find me on all my social medias. My biggest recommendation is to go to Instagram, subscribe there. There is where I post daily what I'm wearing. Uh, I do live chats. Um, I initially started off on Instagram, so I have a lot more over there. Eventually, I'm going to move it to YouTube. I just haven't yet. And for all of the people who continue to come back, I greatly appreciate you. We are growing. We are growing, and I don't even know of a name to give you all to show my appreciation. Uh, I have not decided, uh, but one day I'm going to title you all something because you all are such an inspiration to me. But I want to get into what do I think, based on the genre, that you should go get for the summertime. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into it. If you are a floral girl, right? Florals is your particular genre. That's what you like. You find yourself whenever you go buy fragrances, you tend to want to go to all the ones that are floral, uh, your flower bombs, you know, that's like one of your favorites, uh, anything that has a lot of floral notes. Then for the summer, I think you should get Juicy Flower. If you can get Juicy Flower, it has red fruits. It has pear and citrus and pink peppers in it. Then it has that rose. That rose and peach blend is absolutely gorgeous. Then you get your sandalwood, your jasmine, your must, your white must note, and that raspberry. If you are a floral girl, Juicy Flower is the one I think you should go get. All right. Now, this one is for the girl who is into citrus fragrances, right? You can't wait till that time of year comes around, or you probably wear these fragrances year round, right? Uh, you like a good lemon, a lime, a bergamot, a neroli. Like all of those are notes that you truly enjoy. Then I say you should go get Sensational. Sensational by Kirk Elliott. This is a gorgeous line. I'm going to take some of that glare off if I possibly can uh, off of it. This is a gorgeous line. Kirk Elliott does amazing work, right? But this one here is the one that I would tell you to go get. This one has an opening of lime and honeysuckle, but in pink pepper. I'm not really a lime girl, to be truthfully honest, but this one here won me over. Then it moves into this coconut sea salt. Oh, absolutely delicious. Coconut sea salt and orange blossom. Oh, I can wear this. <laughs> I can wear this all the time. I have a fragrance on already, which we're going to talk about, and I don't want to uh, layer this one in particular. Oh, but it's good. This is good. It is the coconut sea salt to me in that opening that makes this unbelievably gorgeous. Sensational by Kirk Elliott. All right. Now, this one is for my gourmand girls. Oh, my God. We are one in the same. I love gourmand fragrances. As you know, I tend to put something with gourmand, caramel, vanilla, Ooh, almond, anything. I put that in one of my reviews. I am a gourmand girl. But if you are a gourmand lady and you are interested in a fragrance for the summer, then I say go get Solo Charosa, I think, Teresa 62. I could be totally, totally messing that name up, but the fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. It does not matter. This is vanilla, it's caramel, it's almond. It has this powdery cleanness to it and saltiness. Oh, this is sexy. And they have a lotion that goes with it. Um, I tend to layer this one with because I don't have the bomb bomb lotion or anything like that. 
um, I have the lotion that came from Trader Joe's. And right now, it is it is leaving my brain to tell you about it. But it layers great. And if I can find it, I'll probably put the picture of it up here. But I um, once, a, once a year, Trader Joe's uh, brings that lotion out. And that's what I layer with this one. But the actual fragrance itself. This fragrance has pistachio. Pistachio and almond and open. It's nutty deliciousness. Then you have heliotrope, jasmine, you have caramel, you have vanilla. That saltiness is almost like salted caramel on your skin. And then it dries up and it and on you it stays sticks with you uh with sandalwood. I will say this here is not a long lasting fragrance, but it is not that expensive. It's probably a little hard to find because everybody's in love with it. Put this in a decan and carry it in your purse and top off. It is worth it. I love this fragrance. If you are gourmand, then this is the one I think you should go get. All right, this one here is for my fruity girls. It's for my ladies who love to smell like cherries and strawberries and watermelon and peach and tropical notes. That That is your genre. That is what you're into. And I'm not mad at it because I love a good fruity fragrance also. But this fragrance here, I would say to go get, and it is by Pink Mahogany. Pink Mahogany made this one in its Paz uh, Encore Nome. It smells like pine apple upside down cake. <laughs> it's that good. It is pineapple. It is sweet. It's vanilla. It is uh, it's a tropical fragrance. But what I love about it is it's short and sweet. She did not put a whole lot in this fragrance. It is it is top heavy in pineapple. It's pineapple, it's malt, and it's vanilla. That's it. And sometimes that's all you need to do. You just need to get to the point. She got to the point with this fragrance right here. It is gorgeous. If you are a fruity lady, get your hands on pink mahogany. Please try it out. You will enjoy this. It is pineapple lover approved. This is a great fragrance. All right, but last but never least, we know we have some folks who just ain't got no time for all that heavy fragrance, right? I just want to be fresh. It is entirely too hot. That is me in August here in Texas. It's too hot for that. It is too hot to be sticky. It is too hot to be uh, fruity or floral or anything. Like, it's just, I can't do it. I just can't. Well, for all those ladies who just looking for something fresh, then I'm going to tell you to go get light blue intense. Make sure you get the one that's intense, not the regular light blue because it does not last. On me, it doesn't last. Light blue intense. Light blue intense is Granny Smith apple. It is a gorgeous apple note. And then it has a jasmine. It has um, Margold in it and musk. But the initial spray is just clean. That apple note is just fresh out the shower, clean. It is not overbearing. You don't feel like you clawing or choking anyone. It's just clean. It's a clean, fresh scent. Light blue, but make sure it is light blue intense, not the regular one. This one is great for all, the, all my ladies who love a good, fresh scent. All right, beautiful ladies I, or, or men. I know that I'm getting some men on my channel, but mostly I have ladies. Uh, so please share, share it out so that we can grow uh, even bigger. But talking to the ladies today, I have told you, depending on the genre, what fragrance I think you should go out and get for the summer. If you know of any different ones that I did not mention, Tell us about it in, in the comments. Share it. Uh, I probably have it. I just didn't think that it would be one that would be universal. But let everyone else know about it. And on that note, summer is in. And if you have not hit the, S, the SAS at Bath and Body Works, I have two videos coming up soon. That's going to tell you about the ones that I think that you should go get. They are right now, I think they're like $3.95 or $8 at um, Bath & Body Works. I always enjoy this. This is always fun for me. So I'm going to bid you a goodbye and I will see you 